on the connection with fans. Well, my humble experience was around both when I saw like my school peers um, really chasing child prodigies and leaving them like no space to be. And then for a minute there in high school when I thought I could handle such a thing, then I had a bed with a friend um, that I could just stand on like the podium and start singing in the break like with no mic and stuff. And she said, no way you can do it. And I just went to sing a Britney Spears song. People started flocking over and before I knew it, everybody asked for me to sing for them. Um, that being said, my experience was that immediately people wanted to be my agent. I'm talking about high school, okay? Uh, people over flocking and overwhelming and then I had to kind of like cut it. So even though th that was my experience and I was not like aware as uh, from from being the performer um, of the connection between let's say performers and people because I never got to experience that as in a healthy connection um, that sometimes does exist I would later see it amongst my students uh, one-to-one -one students um, and uh, I think that was a big blind spot for when I had a person who was do, like doing music and people were appreciating and, and, and supportive. I did not believe that there was such a connection where people are truly influenced by performers and are truly supportive. So that was kind of like something I repent because I never had a healthy experience. Um, and. I think that this is very important for an artist to have. Um, it's what I saw like around the Free Britney that was very healthy um, a group of people. I was never into like fandom stuff. I, I never met it, like the whole fan thingy um, on either position of it. Like I didn't see people as fans. Um, I saw them as people. And um, and I'm, I don't see like myself as the whole fan thing is something that I just I don't have an algorithm for. Um, so I, I do think that um, if if I look at it from a more holistic point of view, then when you would go to holistic practitioner and you'd feel sick they would ask you if you slept enough if you drink enough if you dance enough if you sing enough if you create enough if you spend time enough with people you love and so i think this is a more um a healthy position um this way more decentralized i mean if i compare youtube when it was like 2006 2007 and people were collaborating with each other um kind of like before the cult arrived um i find that to be way more um nice for people to just be able to collab and be able to communicate uh, without any agents, <laughs> entertainment lawyers, and stuff like that. I mean, of course, when people perform, it, become, it becomes more complicated. Uh, but I think that was a moment of, of YouTube uh, where you could just go by a song you like, a genre that you like, somebody would cover it, then they would have original songs, um, then you would train your ear to listen to something different of many genres, and then let's say if I had the voice, somebody had the guitar, somebody else had like the production. And that was really, really nice. Um, and, and then when that's done outside of the cult, then it can get um, really enjoyable. But then when the cult infiltrates it, they would have 
toxic dynamics. At, at first, I thought this was just toxic, toxic dynamics between people, but now I see it from a deeper perspective. And I understand that for the cult, like you have to uh, betray someone, you have to sexually harass someone, you have to psychically attack someone. There was no vocabulary for that um, pre like big social media. So um, the way I see it is is for people to be able to express themselves vocally or otherwise creatively and not have to be dependent on something to be an industry in order to have you know nervous system supportive like housing um, community where they can take their own time like to retreat um, because um, this whole environment, and I'm millennial, this whole environment where you grew up, and when I grew up, there were a lot of child prodigies, a lot of child prodigies. And um, for some children, the pressure was on. So either you were a performer, you were a model, you were an actor, or you were, um, you know, a hacker, Um and, and and that was even when my parents tried to like you know filter that um, those type of where um, let's say a child who's a bit more you know lonely or introvert or doesn't get the hang of it um, can really really get into those phases where through the art you can express yourself. And I think when that's not mitigated by a sense of healthy community, that you can be who you are, um, then it, it does get to those marginalized points and those extremes between, um, you know, being uh, overwhelmingly seen to being an ever observer. And I, I went through these extremes in my life, uh, you know, now that Pluto is in my 12th house. So um, I went through this extreme, being extremely visible, and then she's like, ever observer. And um, you know, that can be somewhat of my natal chart. But this is also um, something when, even if it's natal chart when it's outer planets to inner planets is something that is generational okay so for me it was we grew up around child prodigies and i think it later translated to the influencer culture and i really thought for a minute there oh it gets decentralized okay people have their own voice their own channel their own page but then it very quickly got into their own entertainment lawyer their own this their own that oh and they have to be a part of the cult and they're not free from that industry um, that was perverse and perversive that would grant uh, a lot of things and um, hope to get a lot of things out of uh, people that would trap people, threaten people, that was human trafficking in the guise of an industry, um, as Jagger writes so beautifully portrays. And that is also important to remember for when people talk about it that to just get a jobby job is not the solution i had a friend that did that she's completely blind spotted about money laundering and drug industry for where she's working i'm not going to tell where um but she's completely like this is this is everybody has a blind spot that's hers and that was, she was supposed to be an artist. She was supposed to be a singing artist. She was supposed to be a performer. Then, you know, she got midway into like media and marketing and all that. Um, and I think that uh, this is another big repent that I have because when I did filmmaking, I was in a certain position, you know, where I felt like what is happening with the passion in my life? as difficult for me to communicate with people. I didn't know about like the cult and stuff. I was just like blaming myself. Why can't I speak with them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so 
um, I just thought of it as a little like disability that I have that is making my career advancement difficult, um, where I can't like put up a team and and make you know movies and stuff. So what happened was that when people lost their jobs at the industry. Um, I was saying for like, okay, well, we can get it. It's not like they were doing their dream job doing on their creative project. They were just in the industry. And of course, it was like, you can, you can do many things. You can get a job, a job, or you can like make sure you are creative. Okay. It's kind of like this all or nothing. And I halfway repent that because I think it would be more on the lines of, um, we need to make sure that we are not dependent on being able to work with literally being housed that's like that's dumb fuckery that's earth that's water that's air that's food that's growing literally on trees as as those you know twitter posts say uh so so these buses should not be uh, um uh, we should not be enslaving people for like literally their the basic needs um and other than that is you cannot resolve that with getting a jobby job. Like, you're going to be sick. I got, my throat was aching when I was not singing the truth. Um, and this is just, just true. And so, uh, th- there's a great function to that. Okay, there's a great function to our voices that is way more than making nice songs. Um, is expression, is energy flow, and is connection, is connection, and it's truth. Um, so all of these things together, uh, the voice is, is is very important. Um, if you think about it philosophically, about the, the discourse theories of Habermas, uh, which I think are not something you can skip. However cynical you are about politics. Um, when you touch on the voices and you press them, you are creating a, a climate kaboom, okay? You, you're creating a big mess. Um, and people know it. It's not like people think, oh, you're crazy for saying that. It's so holistic. That's so, it's like, that's, that's common knowledge. Um, they just do inversion of the energy um for really creepy reasons and um and that affects our lives that does affect our lives um i think to train ourselves to listen and be listened to to sing both together and have individual voices singing um is way way better than to try to make of your hobby an industry in which you lose the passion, you're oppressed, you lose your voice, you lose the creative insight, or alternatively thinking this is just a hobby, I'll get a jobby job, uh, which was the road that I was uh, taking for a while, even unconsciously, and that was self-undoing in ways that I can't even begin to describe to you. Um... Because to create an alternative for the industry, I literally didn't have this living space, okay, um, that that was needed for, for this. Um, even when I had a housing. Um, so... Um, I, th- I think that there are many more creative people around us than we acknowledge. And creativity is a part of, of people and expression is a part of people. Um, and those pyramids built around this are very artificial and are taken away from from the arts. And... If you think about those communities where I go back to YouTube 2006, 2007, or maybe, you know, if you talk about black music, then that would very likely be kind of like, you know, the the, the Leah Tupac left eye 
um, time before it all got messy, then that is um, when when people are genuinely creating with each other. Um, there is way more. There's just way better music to begin with. There's way better music. This, this is not the music you're going to hear with the, um, you know, cultified, uh, um, hypnotic commands <laughs> and whatever um, that's getting people hooked like a drug, but is not really providing the what builds up the nervous system, which is all those ad libs, which is all those things that are not um, taken by ex by merit of exploitation, but rather genuine inspiration then you don't have the cultural appropriation issue um because you know when i was listening to pink or eminem there would there was no like no, no like the the cultural appropriate nobody would think pink is like culturally appropriating rap and my in my time um it's like what am i listening to what am i listening to on the regular black music what am i going to try to perform when i when i sing you know black music <laughs> it, it was no question about it because this is what we grew up to um and you grew up to grunge or your parents couldn't hear electric guitars and you grew up to r&b and rap um that's the way it bifurcated in the 90s so i think um And, and, and I think that people really think that by getting into another industry, you are evading the troubles of the industry that you walked away from for the wrong reasons. And that is not useful as a person who's been in many industries and in many jobby jobs, many, many fields. That just does not. That just does not. Um, and this is very important for us to understand young that we need to tend to things. If it's going to look like really, really huge, um, by tending to it, the answers begin to arise and the windows of opportunities begin to arise. Um, so I hope this can be assisting in reconnecting you to your passion and your desire and um, bring your voice out uh, because options are opening up okay alternatives are being created all the time um, and it is by singing your own song that you get rid of all these things to try to mess with your brain okay in the sense that um it can be really frustrating when you just want to listen to a song but there isn't anything not human trafficking affiliated um that just by listening to your your enabling and monetizing um the solution is to open the freaking mic and sing your own songs to decultify, for to change what you don't like, um, and, and, and to start doing what, what you came here to do. Okay, if you're a person that liked dancing, that liked singing, that liked creating, that's not gonna go away. And, and, and until you get to do that, um life is going to be annoying that i i can tell you that um i'm not sorry for anything that i did in my life and or for anything that i learned in my life or all these journeys i'm not sorry for that uh, but it's also important to remember that um we are making the alternative we are the people that, that go in off the platforms that are um you know becoming in a certain way and 
then at first it's like, I don't, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. And then you have your longing, you admit your longing and you, you start seeing things. You start seeing solutions, start seeing people, even on these platforms. And, uh, and, and then you can get like disillusioned and disillusioned and disillusioned. But, um, but it's important to keep expressing your voice, whether it's in your science and your view of the truth, in philosophy, in just singing, um, in astrology, okay, in anything that you're taught or indoctrinated and you're like that works halfway in life i see it differently of course you do you're you're a completely distinct human being and a set of yogas and stars and and, and whatnot then your perspective matters um and your voice matters so this is for my mars night as mars is approaching taurus um coming to uh, kind of a closure with its home sign Aries um, so that was a time where Mars was fierce and furious and strong and uh, impulsive and sometimes even abrasive um, and then the the action Mars is taking in Venus sign is an act of expressing your voice so that's going to be interesting i'll see you in my next video